Hey guys, hello America. My name is Will Moore and I'm a photographer. And I get in my car and travel throughout the country looking for that next great shot. So come on. Okay, hey guys, how you doing? Well, we're back again with another episode of Somewhere in America. And Somewhere in America, I have found this lovely lady right here. Just dressed up in this beautiful, um, old colonial look, style, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but I thought she was a great pick. Um, I had the opportunity to sit down and talk with this lady. She was extremely knowledgeable about history and about America's history. So I thought, um, and she asked me what was I doing. I told her, I said, I'm, I'm taking a photograph of you if you don't mind. And she said, sure, go right ahead. So as I let her talk and everything, she, I continued to shoot. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into the and get in process. This, this is going to be done. We're going to start out in Lightroom, and then we're going to take it to Photoshop, and we're going to, we'll probably uh, end up back in Lightroom again. Maybe just doing a, a little, just a little bit of, little bit of processing. No, not too much, but mostly it's going to be done in Photoshop because I'm going to add textures and things to that nature to it. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's just warm it up a little bit. All right. Well, actually, let's check the. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, let's warm it up a little bit. Let's go and check the white balance first. Let's do that. Let's find something. There we go. Yep, it's warmed up. Okay, I'm going to bring down the highlights a little bit. And then I'm going to bring up the shadows on her. See everything starts to show up. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and I'm gonna go to the right until I see some pixels. Back, back up. I'm gonna go to the left until I get some blacks, and I'm gonna back, back, back right there. Add a little bit of clarity, a little bit of vibrance, and a little bit of saturation. All right, I'm back that yellow down. I don't want too much yellow because I don't want it. I don't want her getting over, overly yellow in her face. Okay, guys. All right, let's go down here. We're looking, we're looking pretty sharp here. Oh wow, look at this, real nice, nice and sharp. But let's go ahead and sharpen it up just a little bit more. So that's 40, and hold down the masking. Remember, everything that is in silhouette will be sharpened. All righty, that's looking good. Let's add a little bit of luminance, not too much. Uh, let's go down here and enable profile crack, remove chromatic aberration. I'm not going to worry about if she's straight. Let's see. Okay, that's straightened up a little bit. Okay, all righty. Now I'm not going to be doing doing anything with camera calibration. All right, guys, that looks pretty good right there. Um, let me add a little contrast, and let me do a little bring the exposure down just a little bit, not too much. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead, right click. I'm going to edit and edit in Photoshop. While it's going to Photoshop, I'm going to and listen, guys. When you edit in Photoshop, you want to edit a you want to edit a copy with all the Lightroom adjustments because if you don't what will happen is that if you just do edit as a copy or edit as original then none of your uh, presets anything that you did over here won't 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 translate over into Photoshop so I'm gonna hit edit and then I'm gonna wait till we go over to Photoshop okay we guys we are here in Photoshop alright now the only thing that I need to do right now is just begin to start adding the textures to this. So as you know, I got my box of textures and that I like to go through. And um, I want to keep this nice and warm. So let's um, first of all, I want to make this look. I'm going to make her look really, really nice, a little older. I mean, a little not older, but a little old, a little more old-fashioned. So I'm going to go to balsam. And balsam is there, so let's go ahead and let's pull that in, because I like the texture in balsam. Let's hit enter, and I'm gonna go down to my my uh, blending modes, and I'm gonna hit overlay, and that is working very. Let's go to vivid. Go to vivid. Uh, nope. Let's pen light. Nope. Let's go to overlay, and I'm gonna bring that fill down just a little bit. And I'm going to bring down the opacity just a little bit. Okay. And let's go to another texture. And this one I'm going to go, this time I'm going to go to um, 
I want to go to uh, our scratched. Let's go to scratched. And let's bring scratched over. Alrighty. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Hit enter. And on an overlay, I'm going to put overlay. And that's looking really, really nice there so far. So we got this nice little old look coming. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. There we go. It's looking really good. Let's bring down the fill on that a little bit. And let's bring down the opacity. Okay, I don't want too much. Bring down the opacity just a little bit. Okay. And that's looking really, really good. Now I'm going to grab one more layer. And I think this is going to be the PDPA. Let's see what that does. And I'm going to use very I'm going to use this very very subtle. And I'm going to go to overlay again and I like what I'm looking I like what I'm seeing. Let's bring down the feel a lot on this. Bring down the feel and bring down the opacity quite a bit. All righty. That is looking really really nice right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and flatten all that. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Actually, before we flatten, let's un undo flatten. Before we flatten that, I'm gonna go back down here, double click, like that, um, because I want I, I don't want too much of this going through her face. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a mask on this, and uh, I'm gonna grab brush. And oh no, nope, don't want to do that. Let's undo pencil won't deal with the mask yet okay and delete and then um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and flatten it let's go ahead and flatten it okay I'm gonna grab the magic wand because I want to lighten up her face a little bit let's bring up the tolerance just a little bit here alrighty in fact, not the magic wand. Let's go ahead and grab the quick selection. Just in the front of the face. Just a little bit. Alrighty. And I'm going to go ahead and let's get a curves adjustment. I'm just going to raise that up just a little bit. There we go. Not to where it looks all too photoshopped and looks phony but just enough where it just lightened up that face alrighty guys we're looking really good here we're looking really good let's go ahead and on the curves adjustment again I'm gonna go, you know what before we do this let me get out of this let me duplicate this then I'm gonna add a curve I'm gonna add a mask and then I'm going to add a curves adjustment. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and bring that down just a little bit right there. Okay. And to make sure that it's it just affecting this one, I'm going to go ahead and go to layer, create a clipping mask. There we go. Alright. And I'll down shift. And I'm going to merge these two. Control E. And there we go. Alrighty, that's looking really, really good there. And let's go ahead and link that together. I like what I'm seeing, so I'm going to go ahead and go to Feel, go to File. I'm sorry, that Feel, but I'm going to close it out and send it back to Lightroom. And while it's doing that, I'm going to pause. Alright, we're back in Lightroom again. And um, we have our image already here. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and um, grab a brush, and I'm going to lift up the exposure just a little bit. Uh, come down. I'm going to pull back the flow, and I'm also going to pull back the density. All right. I don't want it to be too much. And I'm just going to come over here where there's a little, where the light is striking her face, and just bring a little light in there. Come up here where her hat is. A little bonnet. I think they call it a bonnet. And I'm going to grab another brush. Okay. And bring some more light. 
and I'm gonna arrange that flow a little bit more too and I'm gonna bring some light right in there and I'm gonna reduce that brush a little bit bring some light right in there just where I think the light will grab and maybe a little bit on our bonnet right here alrighty that's looking good let's grab another brush let's bring that exposure down a little bit and right over there where glasses is our glasses are and there we go and I'm gonna grab another brush and right here I'm gonna I'm gonna click auto mask because I want to just along here just brighten this up just a little bit alrighty that's looking good let's bring some over here and let's bring it just a little bit okay guys hey look I guys I hope you enjoyed this latest lesson on texture and how you can take and add texture to a to a photograph or to a portrait to give it some life guys we went from this we went from this well from this I'm sorry <laughs> we went from this <laughs> to this and see how we just added a little life to that portrait right there hey guys I enjoyed the lesson I hope you uh, got something out of it and learned something that you can do some great things with textures hey God bless every last one of you guys I love you thanks for tuning in once again to this episode on texture in Lightroom and Photoshop with portraiture hey remember that if you can't say something nice then guess what just put a shoe in your mouth and keep it moving God bless bye bye